<clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, I am privileged to say a few words to you in this most modern and novel manner. Privileged because it's the first living Vitaphone announcement ever made announcing the coming of one of the year's outstanding pictures. <laughs> If I Had a Talking Picture, Program 3. Hello, I'm Alex Hare. This program looks at the movie musical, the all-dancing, all-singing entertainment which revolutionised the film industry. We concluded our last program with a look at Paramount's Innocence of Paris. Let's now continue our journey, still in the year 1929, and the Marx Brothers' Paramount film, The Coconuts. The vehicle was virtually a filmed version of the Sam Harris stage production. However, it bore many of the hallmarks of the early talkies. The camera work was static, and the sound reproduction left a lot to be desired. However, the zany carry-on of the quartet helped the film overcome those technical problems. Among the other stars of the film were Mary Eaton, Oscar Shaw and the formidable Margaret Dumont. One of the hits from the film was When My Dreams Come True. And opening the program tonight, here's the Sam Lennon Orchestra with Smith Ballou and When My Dreams Come True. <laughs> Thank you. 
Now to Universal's Melody Lane, which starred Eddie Leonard and Josephine Dunn, a somewhat schmaltzy film which dealt with the trials and tribulations of a vaudeville team. Here now are two songs from that film. Firstly, we hear Song of the Islands, presented by Wayne King and his orchestra, and then Gene Austin with Frank Banter at the piano present Here Am I. But firstly, Song of the Islands. But here I am. 
I said I'd never come back, but here I am, here I am. I said I'd keep off your track, but here I am, here I am. Don't take advantage of me, cause I've come to you. Just see how sweet you can be, oh, what I've been through. I said I'm sorry we met, but how I lied, how I lied. I said that I could forget, and how I tried, how I tried. Nobody knows just how lonesome I've been. The thought of your kisses just made me give in. I said I'd never come back, but here I am. Here I am. The Fox film Words and Music starred Lois Moran, John Wayne, Helen Twelve Trees, and William Orlamond. The film was nothing more than a tenuous excuse for a series of songs and dances, many of those of the aforementioned Lois Moran, which had been cut from Fox's movie tone follies of 1929. The All Star Orchestra there, directed by Nat Shilkrit with Steppin Along, from Words and Music. Right now, let's have another song from that particular film, this time the same orchestra with a vocal by Frank Munn and Too Wonderful for Words. <laughs> Thank you. 
We now look at the aforementioned Fox movie tone follies of 1929. The movie starred Lola Lane, John Breeden, Sue Carroll, Dixie Lee and David Rowlands and concerns itself with the slimline tale of a southerner from Virginia who travels to New York in order to buy up a show which is still in rehearsal just so he can fire his girlfriend from the cast because he disapproves of her stage career. <laughs> Get to dot the I. Look at what you wrote. Goodness knows it's easy as pie. Come on and fake away. Get hot and shake away. You'll do the breakaway by and by. Thank you. 
Fran Frey handled the vocal there on George Olson's Breakaway. With shades of 42nd Street prevalent, when the leading lady refuses to go on, the young Lila finds herself catapulted into stardom in true Hollywood fashion. Now let's have two more songs from the Fox movie tone follies of 1929. Firstly, Walking with Susie, Smith Ballou and Eddie Lloyd's Singing Boys, and then The Big City Blues, played by Arnold Johnson's orchestra, with Scrappy Lambert on vocal.
great big city blue I walk for miles, place to place No one smiles to help me chase Those big city blues I'm like a little top Who needs a lot of tenderness and care All I've got is just a lot of sorrow and despair Won't someone please talk to me Don't refuse, hear my plea And help me lose those great big city blues I hope you've enjoyed the program and look forward to your company next time as we continue our journey looking at the Hollywood movie musical in program four of If I Had a Talking Picture. Until then, this is Alex here saying goodbye to you all. Goodbye.